hace su entrada al Gran Teatro de La Habana, Alicia Alonso, el presidente de los Estados Unidos de América, Barack Obama. Now, entering the Grand Theater of Havana, the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Gracias. gracias. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. President Castro. Presidente Castro. The people of Cuba. Pueblo cubano. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Por la calurosa bienvenida. I have received. Que he recibido yo, mi familia y nuestra delegación. It is. Es un honor extraordinario estar aquí hoy. Before I begin. Antes de comenzar. Please indulge me. I want to comment on the terrorist attacks that took place in Brussels. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium. The thoughts and the prayers of the American We must be together, regardless of nationality, or race, or faith, in fighting against the scourge of terrorism. We can and we will defeat those who threaten the safety and security of the people all around the world. To the government and the people of Cuba. I want to thank you for the kindness that you've shown to me, Michelle, Malia, Sasha, my mother-in-law, Marion. Cultivo una rosa blanca. In his famous. In his most famous poem, Jose Marti made this offering of friendship and peace to both his friend and his enemy. Today, as the President of the United States of America, I offer the Cuban people el saludo de paz. Havana is only 90 miles from Florida, but to get here we had to travel a great distance, over barriers of history and ideology, barriers of pain and separation. The blue waters beneath Air Force One once carried American battleships to this island to liberate, but also to exert control over Cuba. Those waters also carried generations of Cuban revolutionaries to the United States, where they built support for their cause. And that short distance has been crossed by hundreds of thousands of Cuban exiles on planes and makeshift rafts, who came to America in pursuit of freedom and opportunity, sometimes leaving behind everything they owned and every person that they loved. Like so many people in both of our countries, my lifetime has spanned a time of isolation between us. The Cuban Revolution took place the same year that my father came to the United States from Kenya. The Bay of Pigs took place the year that I was born. The next year, the entire world held its breath watching our two countries as humanity came as close as we ever had to the horror of nuclear war. As the decades rolled by, our government settled into a seemingly endless confrontation, fighting battles through proxies in a world that remade itself. Time and again, one constant was the conflict between the United States and Cuba. 
I have come here Vine aquí to bury the last remnants of the Cold War in the Americas. I have come here to extend the hand of friendship to the Cuban people. I want to be clear, the differences between our governments over these many years are real and they are important. I'm sure President Castro would say the same thing. I know because I've heard him address those differences at length. Sobre este tema. But before I discuss Pero those issues, we also need to recognize how much we share. Son los en común que Because in many ways, the United States and Cuba Estados are like two brothers who have been estranged for many years, even as we share the same blood. La misma we both live Ambos in a new world, colonized mundo, by Europeans. Cuba, like the Cuba, United States, was built in part by slaves brought here from Africa. Like the United States, the Cuban people can trace their heritage to both slaves and slave owners. We've welcomed both immigrants who came a great distance to start new lives in the Americas. Over the years, our cultures have blended together. Dr. Carlos Finlay worked in Cuba, paved the way for generations of doctors, including Walter Reed who drew on Dr. Finlay's work to help combat yellow fever. Just as Martí wrote some of his most famous words in New York, Ernest Hemingway made a home in Cuba and found inspiration in the waters of these shores. We share a national pastime, la pelota. And later today, our players will compete on the same Havana field that Jackie Robinson played on before he made his major league debut. And it says that our greatest boxer, Muhammad Ali, once paid tribute to a Cuban that he could never fight, saying that he would only be able to reach a draw with the great Cuban, Teofilo Stevenson. So even as our governments became adversaries, our people continued to share these common passions, particularly as so many Cubans came to America. In Miami, in Miami, Havana, you can find places to dance the cha-cha-cha or the salsa, and eat ropa vieja. People in both of our countries have sung along with Celia Cruz, Gloria Estefan, and now listen to reggaeton, Pitbull. Millions of our people share a common religion, a faith that I paid tribute to at the Shrine of Our Lady of Charity in Miami, a peace that Cubans find in La Cachita. For all of our differences, the Cuban and American people share common values in their own lives. A sense of patriotism and a sense of pride, a lot of pride. A profound love of family, a passion for our children, a commitment to their education. And that's why I believe our grandchildren will look back on this period of isolation as an aberration. Just one chapter in a longer story of family and of But we cannot and should not ignore the very real differences that we have about how we organize our governments, our economies, and our societies. Cuba has a one-party system. The United States is a multi-party democracy. Cuba has a socialist economic model. The United States is an open market. Cuba has emphasized the role and rights of the state. The United States is founded upon the rights of the individual. Despite these differences, on December 17, 2014, President Castro and I announced that the United States and Cuba would begin a process to normalize relations between our countries.
Since then, we've Desde established entonces, diplomatic relations and opened them. We've begun initiatives to cooperate on health, in in agriculture, en salud, en education, and law enforcement. We've reached Hemos agreements to restore direct flights and mail service. We've expanded commercial flights and increased the capacity of Americans to travel and do business in Cuba. And these changes have been welcomed, even though they're still opponents to these policies. Still, many people on both sides of this debate have asked, why now? Why now? There is one simple answer. What the United States was doing was not working. We have to have the courage to acknowledge that truth. A policy of isolation designed for the Cold War made little sense in the 21st century. The embargo was only hurting the Cuban people instead of helping them. I've always believed in what Martin Luther King Jr. called the fierce urgency of now. We should not fear change. We should embrace it. That leads me to Pero a bigger and more important reason for these changes. Otra razón para estos cambios. Creo, Creo en el pueblo, en el pueblo cubano. cubano. I believe in the Cuban people. Creo en el pueblo cubano. This is en, not just a policy no of normalizing relations with the Cuban government. Con el cubano. The United States Los of America Unidos is normalizing relations with the Cuban people. And today I want to share with you my vision of what our future can be. I want the Cuban people, especially the young people, to understand why I believe that you should look to the future with hope. Not the false promise which insists that things are better than they really are, or the blind optimism that says all your problems can go away tomorrow. Hope that is rooted in the future that you can choose, and that you can shape, and that you can build for your country. I'm hopeful because I believe Tengo that the Cuban people are as innovative as any people in the world. In a global una, economy, economía, powered by ideas global, and information, por ideas, por a country's greatest asset el is its people. Del país es el pueblo. In the United en States, States, we have a clear Unidos, monument to what the Cuban people claro can build. It's called Miami. Here in Havana, en La Habana, we see that same talent. En los cuentapropistas, en las cooperativas, en los almendrones que todavía funcionan. El cubano inventa del aire. El cubano inventa del aire. Cuba has an extraordinary resource, a system of education which values every boy and every girl. And in recent years, the Cuban government has begun to open up to the world and to open up more space for that talent to thrive. In just a few years, we've seen how Cuenta Propistas can succeed while sustaining a distinctly Cuban spirit. Being self-employed is not about becoming more like America, it's about being yourself. No quiere decir ser como estadounidense, ser usted. Sandra le dice Aldama who chose to start a small business. Cuban, she said, can innovate and adapt without losing our identity. Our secret is not in copying or imitating, but simply being ourselves. Look at Papito Valladeres, a barber whose success allowed him to improve conditions in his neighborhood. I realize I'm not going to solve all the world's problems, he said, but if I can solve problems in the little piece of the world where I live, it can ripple across Havana. 
That's where hope begins. Ahí es donde comienza la esperanza, con la posibilidad de ganarse su propia vida y de hacer y ser orgulloso de lo que usted construye. Por eso nuestras políticas son para apoyar a Cuba, no para herirlo. Por eso nosotros quitamos las limitaciones de las remesas para que los cubanos tengan más recursos. Por eso alentamos el viaje que va a construir puentes entre nuestros pueblos para tener más ingresos aquí para aquellos pequeños empresarios cubanos. Por eso hemos and exchanges so that Americans and Cubans can work together to find cures for diseases and create jobs and open the door to more opportunity for the Cuban people. As President of the United States, I have called on our Congress to lift the embargo. It is an outdated burden on the Cuban people. It's a burden on the Americans who want to work and do business or invest here in Cuba. It's time to lift the embargo. But even if we lifted the embargo tomorrow, Cubans would not realize their potential without continued change here in Cuba. It should be easier Debería to open a business here in Cuba. Más fácil abrir una a worker should be Cuba. able to get a job directly with companies who invest here in Cuba. Con que aquí Two currencies Cuba. shouldn't separate the type of salaries no that Cubans can earn. El tipo de the internet se puede should be available the across the islands so that Cubans can connect to the wider world and to one of the greatest engines of growth in human history. There's no limitation from the United States on the ability of Cuba to take these steps. It's up to you. And I can tell you as a friend that sustainable prosperity in the 21st century depends on education, health care, and environmental protection, but it also depends on the free and open exchange of ideas. If you can't access information online, if you cannot be exposed to different points of view, you will not reach your full potential. And over time, the youth will lose hope. I know these issues are especially coming from an American president. Before 1959, some Americans saw Cuba as something to exploit, ignored poverty, no prestaban atención enabled a la pobreza, corruption. And since 1959, we've been shadow boxers in this battle of geopolitics I know the history, Yo sé la historia, but I refuse to be trapped by no it. Voy a estar atrapado por el mismo. I've made it clear that the United Fui States has claro, neither the capacity nor the intention to impose change on Cuba. Cuba. What changes los come will depend upon the Cuban people. We will not impose no our political or economic system on you. We recognize that every country, every people, must chart its own course and shape its own model. But having removed Pero the shadow of history from our relationship, el, el I must historia, speak honestly about the things that I believe, sobre las cosas the en things las que that yo creo, we as Americans believe. Cosas que nosotros como estadounidenses creemos. As Martí said, dijo Martí, liberty is the right of every man to be honest, honest, to think and to speak without hypocrisy. So let me tell you what I believe. Les voy a decir en lo que creo. No puedo forzarlos a que ustedes estén de acuerdo con esto, pero ustedes tienen que saber lo que yo pienso. Creo que todas las personas deberían tener el mismo peso ante la ley. Cada niño merece la dignidad que le brinda la educación, la salud, un techo, comida en la mesa. Pero yo creo que los ciudadanos tienen que tener el derecho de expresar lo que piensan sin temor, organizarse y criticar a su gobierno. 
and that the rule of law should not include arbitrary detentions of people who exercise those rights. I believe that every person should have the freedom to practice their faith peacefully and publicly. And yes, I believe voters should be able to choose their governments in free and democratic elections. Not everybody agrees with me on no this. Todos están de Not everybody conmigo. agrees with the American people no on this, but I believe those human sí rights are universal. Es que son I believe they are the creo rights of the American people, the Cuban people, Estados and people around the world. Los pueblos de todo el mundo. Now, there's no secret that no our governments disagree on many of these issues. No I've had frank conversations with President Castro. For many years, he has pointed out the flaws in the American system, economic inequality, the death penalty, la pena de muerte, racial discrimination, racial, wars abroad. Luchas en el exterior. That's just a sample. He has a much longer list. <laughs> but here's what the Cuban people need Pero to understand. I welcome this open debate and dialogue. A mí me gusta este debate, este it's diálogo, good. It's healthy. I'm bueno, not afraid of saludable. it. No le tengo miedo. We do have too much money in American Tenemos politics. But in America, it's still possible for somebody Unidos like me, a child who was raised by a single mom, a child of mixed race who did not have a lot of money, to pursue and achieve the highest office in the land. That's what's possible in America. We do have challenges with racial bias in our communities, in our criminal justice system, in our society, the legacy of slavery and segregation. But the fact that we have open debates within America's own democracy is what allows us to get better. In 1959, the year that my father moved to America, it was illegal for him to marry my mother, who was white, in many American states. When I first started Cuando school, we were still escuela, struggling to desegregate schools across the American South. Las en el sur but de people organized. País, pero la gente se they protested. Manifestaron. They debated these issues. They challenged estos government estos officials. Temas. And Retaron because of those protests, and because of those debates, and because of popular debates, mobilization, I'm mobilization, able to stand here today as an African American and as President of the United States. Unidos, that was because of the freedoms es that were afforded in the United States that we were able Estados to bring Unidos. about change. Hemos los que hemos I'm not saying this is easy. No estoy que sea fácil. There's still enormous problems Hay in our society. En But democracy Pero la is the way that we solve them. Es la forma de That's how we got health care for more Por of our people. El de salud para That's how we made enormous gains in women's rights and gay rights. Para las mujeres, It's how we address the inequality that concentrates so much wealth at the top of our society. Because workers can organize and ordinary people have a voice. Sociedad. American Los democracy has given our people the opportunity to pursue their dreams and enjoy a high standard of living. Now, there are still bueno, some tough fights. Luchas muy duras It isn't always por pretty, no es the process of democracy. De It's often frustrating. A veces es you can see that in Lo the election going on back home. But just stop and consider this Pero fact about the American este campaign that's taking place right now. You had two Cuban-Americans Cuban in the Republican la Party running against the legacy of a black man who was president while arguing that they're the best person to beat the Democratic nominee who will either be a woman or a Democratic Socialist. Who would have believed that back in 1959? That's a measure of our progress as a democracy. So, Así que, here's my message aquí está to the Cuban mensaje government al gobierno and the Cuban cubano people. Y al pueblo cubano. The ideals that are the starting point for every revolution, punto inicial de cualquier revolución, America's revolution, en los Cuba's Unidos, revolution, en Cuba, the liberation movements around el movimiento the world, de liberación en todo el mundo, those ideals esos find ideas their truest expression, I believe, la in democracy. Real en la democracia. Not because no, American democracy is perfect, la democracia but precisely en mi país because we're perfecta. not. 
Exactamente porque no lo es y necesitamos el lugar que brinda la democracia para lograr los cambios. Individuals Le da the capacity a to be catalysts, to think in new ways, and to reimagine how our society should be, and to make them better. And there's already a, an Siempre evolution taking place inside of Cuba, que se está aquí a, a generational Cuba. change. Un Many suggested Muchos that I come here and ask the people of Cuba to tear something down. But I'm appealing to the young no, people of Cuba who will lift something up, build something new. Que algo nuevo. El futuro de Cuba El futuro. tiene que estar en las manos del pueblo cubano. El futuro de Cuba tiene que estar en las manos del pueblo cubano. And to President Castro, Presidente who I appreciate Castro, being here today, I want you to know, I believe my visit here demonstrates you do not need to fear no a threat from the United States. And given your commitment to Cuba's sovereignty and self-determination, I am also confident that you need not fear the different voices of the Cuban people and their capacity to speak and assemble and vote for their leaders. De votar. In fact, I'm hopeful y en for the future because I trust that the Cuban people will make the right decisions. And as you do, como, I'm also confident that Cuba can continue to play an important role in the hemisphere and around the globe. And my hope is, is that you can do so as a partner with the United States. States. We've played very different roles in the world. But no one should deny the service that thousands of Cuban doctors have delivered to the poor and suffering. Last year, American healthcare workers and the U.S. military worked side by side with Cubans to save lives and stamp out Ebola in West Africa. I believe that we should continue that kind of cooperation in other countries. We've been on the different side of so many conflicts in the Americas, but today, Americans and Cubans are sitting together at the negotiating table, and we are helping the Colombian people resolve the civil war that's dragged on for decades. That kind of cooperation is good Esa for everybody. Es buena para todos. It gives everyone todos in this hemisphere hope. En este hemisferio tienen esperanzas. We took different journeys Tomamos diferentes caminos to our support for the people of South Africa in ending apartheid. But President Castro and I could both be there in Johannesburg to pay tribute to the legacy of the great un Nelson Mandela. Al, al legado de Nelson Mandela. And in examining his life and his words, vida, I'm palabras, sure we both realize we have more work to do to promote no, equality in our hacer own countries, countries to reduce discrimination based on race in our own countries. And in Cuba, in Cuba, we want our engagement to help lift up the Cubans who are African descent, who have proven that there's nothing they cannot achieve when given the chance. We've been a part of different blocks of nations in the hemisphere, and we will continue to have profound differences about how to promote peace, security, opportunity, and human rights. But as we normalize our relations, I believe it can help foster a greater sense of un unity mayor in the Americas. De unidad en Todos las somos americanos. Todos somos americanos. From the beginning Desde of my time in office, mandato, I've urged the people of the Americas to leave behind the ideological battles of the past. De las batallas ideológicas del pasado. We are in a new era. Estamos en una nueva era. I know that many of the sí, issues that I've talked about lack the drama of the past. No la and I know that part of Cuba's identity is its pride in being a small Cuba island nation that could stand up for its rights and shake the world. But I also know that Cuba will always stand Cuba out because of the talent, hard work, and pride of the Cuban people. Talento, That's your strength. Trabajo, el del Eso es el fuerte de esta sociedad.
Cuba doesn't have to be defined by being against the United States any more than the United States should be defined by being against Cuba. And I'm hopeful for the future because of the reconciliation that's taking place among the Cuban people. You know, I know that for some Cubans on the island, There may be a sense puede tener un sentido que aquellos que se fueron de alguna manera estaban apoyando al viejo orden, sure al antiguo orden en Cuba. Esta esta historia que sugiere que los exilados cubanos no prestan atención a los problemas que existían en, la, en Cuba antes de la revolución y que rechazaron la lucha para un nuevo futuro. Pero les puedo decir que hoy son tantos los exilados cubanos que recuerdan ese dolor esa separación, ese sufrimiento, aman a Cuba. A part of them Parte de ellos todavía consideran que esto es su país. That's why their passion is Por so eso strong. tienen esa pasión. That's why their heartache is so great. Por eso tienen tanto dolor. And for the Cuban -American y para la comunidad cubano-americana que conozco, que respeto, esto no this es solamente el tema de política, es un tema de familia. El recuerdo de un hogar perdido. El deseo de reconstruir bond. un lazo que se partió. La esperanza de un mejor futuro. El deseo de volver, de reconciliarse. For all of the politics, Dejando al lado todo el tema de people política, are people, and are gente es gente, los cubanos son cubanos. Here, y vengo aquí, he viajado una gran distancia en un puente construido por cubanos que están en ambos lados del estrecho de, de la Florida. Y conocí el talento y la pasión de los cubanos en los Estados Unidos. Y yo sé lo que han sufrido, no solamente el dolor del exilio, saben lo que es no pertenecer a algo, luchar para tener un mejor in futuro, para que sus hijos tengan un mejor futuro. So the reconciliation Entonces, of the esa reconciliación del pueblo cubano, the children and grandchildren los niños, of revolution, los nietos and the children de la revolución, y los exile. hijos y That los nietos de los, ex exil de los exiliados, es fundamental para el futuro de Cuba. <coughs> You see it in Se lo ve en Gloria González, que vino aquí en el 2013 por primera vez después de estar 61 años separada and was met by de, su, sister, de su hermana. Y la encontró Yorca en el aeropuerto. Me, Tú me reconoces a mí, you, pero yo no Gloria te reconocí a ti, le dijo Gloria después de haber abrazado a su hermana. Imagínense, de, después de 61 años, You see it in Melinda Lo ve Lopez, en Melinda López, que vino al hogar de su familia y cuando estaba caminando una anciana la reconoció como hija de su madre y comenzó a llorar. She took her into her home and la showed her invitó a, a su hogar y le mostró pictures, fotos de cuando ella era pequeña, que su madre le había enviado a esta vecina 50 años antes. Melinda, later said, so Melinda many of us dijo, tantos de nosotros Estamos recibiendo tanto. You see it in Christian Miguel Se lo ve Soler, en Cristian Miguel Soler, un joven que fue el primero de su familia de venir aquí después de 50 años. Conoció a sus parientes después de tanto tiempo y les dije, me doy cuenta que la familia de mi familia, no importa la distancia, seguimos siendo familia. Sometimes the a most veces important changes los start cambios in small más places. importantes comienzan en pequeños lugares. The tides of history los cambios can leave people de la historia son fuente de conflicto, exilio, pobreza. It takes time for those circumstances y se necesita to change, tiempo para que estas circunstancias cambien. Pero el reconocer un tema de humanidad, la reconciliación del pueblo unido por la sangre, ahí comienza el progreso progress begins. la sangre. Ahí comienza el progreso. Understanding y el futuro. Entender, and listening, oír, and forgiveness. Perdonar. And if the Cuban people face y si el pueblo the cubano together, trabaja junto para el futuro, va a ser muy factible que los jóvenes de hoy right sean dignos y logren un futuro aquí en Cuba. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much
It is time now es hora ya de olvidarnos del pasado. Dejemos el pasado, miremos el futuro, miremoslo juntos. De esperanza. Un futuro de esperanza. Y no va a ser fácil, va a haber retrocesos. Vamos a tardar tiempo, pero aquí mi estadía aquí me da más esperanzas de lo que podemos hacer juntos, como amigos, como familias, Together. como vecinos, juntos. Sí se puede. Sí se Muchas puede. Gracias. Muchas gracias.